A one in a trillion chain of coincidences has just shattered astronomers' confidence in what a comet is supposed to be. 3i Atlas, our solar system's third known interstellar visitor, defies every statistical expectation, matching Jupiter's boundary with uncanny precision, jetting toward the sun instead of away, and flaring with industrial metals no natural comet should hide. If the math behind these odds holds up, our entire understanding of cosmic debris could be overdue for an upgrade. So what happens when object after object behaves so improbably that nature alone cannot explain it? That is what we are about to uncover. On July 1, 2025, astronomers with the ATLAS survey flagged an object that stood apart from anything in recent memory. The new arrival was catalogued as 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed in our solar system. But this was no ordinary visitor. Where the first, Oumuamua, was small and elusive, and the second, Borisov, resembled a classic comet, 3I Atlas shattered expectations from the start. The numbers alone forced astronomers to take notice. 3I Atlas is estimated to be about 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua and roughly 1,000 times heavier than Borisov. Its solid core stretches over 3 miles wide, dwarfing its predecessors. When it was first detected, it was racing through the solar system at nearly 58 kilometers per second, about 130,000 miles per hour, making it not just the largest, but also the fastest of the three interstellar visitors. The object's trajectory traced a steep path arriving from the direction of Sagittarius and set to depart toward Gemini. Early calculations placed its origin in the thick disk of the galaxy, hinting at a birthplace among ancient stars far removed from the Sun's neighborhood. The object's high vertical velocity relative to the galactic plane suggested it had been traveling for eons before crossing paths with our solar system. What made 3i Atlas truly impossible to ignore was the combination of its sheer scale and the timing of its arrival. Only eight years had passed since the first interstellar object was spotted, and now, in rapid succession, astronomers were facing a new arrival that was orders of magnitude more massive. This frequency and scale defied expectations. According to current models, such large interstellar debris should be exceedingly rare, perhaps appearing once in many millennia and not twice in a decade. Within days of its discovery, observatories worldwide turned their instruments toward the newcomer. The object's brightness, mass, and speed all pointed to something extraordinary. Astronomers realized that 3I Atlas was not just another comet passing through. Its presence raised immediate questions about how such a giant, fast-moving object could appear so soon after two others, and whether current theories about interstellar debris were missing something fundamental. Before anyone could speculate about its true nature, the sheer improbability of its arrival demanded a closer, systematic look at every anomaly it presented. Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist known for his work on cosmic origins and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has introduced a methodical approach to evaluating the strangeness of 3i Atlas. Rather than focusing on any single oddity, Loeb organizes the evidence into three categories, major, medium, and minor anomalies. Each observed anomaly is assigned a probability, how likely it would be to see that specific feature if 3i Atlas were just a natural comet. The rarest, most inexplicable features fall into the major category, with probabilities typically below 0.5%. Medium anomalies are less extreme, but still rare, with odds under 1%. Minor anomalies are unusual but not unheard of and are given probabilities under 10%. Loeb's framework borrows from the logic of risk analysis and forensic science. The key principle is independence. If each anomaly is unrelated to the others, the odds of them all appearing together can be found by multiplying their individual probabilities. For example, if one event has a 1 in a 1000 chance and another has a 1 in a 100 chance, the odds of both happening by chance are 1 in, in 100,000. Loeb applies this logic across all categories, stacking the odds against a purely natural explanation. This method is not just about listing weird facts, it is about quantifying how strange the whole package is. For 3i Atlas, the major anomalies, those with probabilities less than 0.5%, include features that defy cometry physics or celestial mechanics as currently understood. 
Medium anomalies, under 1%, might be explained by rare natural processes, but still stretch the imagination. Minor anomalies, with probabilities under 10%, set new records for comet behavior, but could still fit within the broadest range of natural outcomes. The strength of this system lies in its combined power. No single anomaly, taken alone, would be enough to overturn decades of comet science. But when multiple, statistically independent anomalies cluster in the same object, the combined probability of a natural explanation collapses. Loeb's approach does not claim to prove an artificial origin, but it does force a reckoning with the numbers. If the math says the odds are less than one in a trillion, the burden shifts. Either nature is far stranger than anyone expected, or something else is at play. With the framework in place, the next step is to examine the specific anomalies that make 3i atlas so mathematically unlikely, and to pursue spectroscopic measurements of jet composition and speed as the decisive next step. On March 16, 2020, 3i atlas will approach Jupiter at a distance of 53.45 million kilometers. That number is not just close to Jupiter's domain, it matches Jupiter's hill radius, 53.52 million kilometers, with uncanny precision. The hill radius defines the invisible boundary where Jupiter's gravity outweighs the Sun's pull, marking the outer edge of its gravitational reach. For an object arriving from interstellar space with no prior connection to Jupiter or the solar system, this alignment looks almost intentional. Standard celestial mechanics give no reason for such a match. Interstellar objects pass through the solar system on random trajectories shaped by the gravity of the Sun and the planets. But rarely, if ever, do they trace a path that skims the exact edge of a planet's gravitational sphere. The odds of a random arrival matching Jupiter's hill radius so closely are staggeringly low. Avi Loeb estimates the natural probability at 0.004%, or 4 in 100,000. What makes this geometry even more striking is that 3i Atlas did not start out on a collision course with Jupiter's hill sphere. Near perihelion, the object underwent a non-gravitational acceleration, a subtle push that nudged its course into this precise alignment. In natural comets, such accelerations are caused by jets of vaporized ice, but these jets act in random directions and rarely achieve such perfect results. The cumulative effect required to guide a three-mile-wide body across hundreds of millions of kilometers, ending at this specific boundary, strains the limits of chance. Loeb has described this trajectory as targeted geometry, a phrase that captures both the precision and the improbability of the event. For astronomers used to the randomness of cosmic debris, this kind of bullseye is difficult to explain away. The geometry alone slashes the odds for a purely natural explanation, raising the question, if this were a planned maneuver, what would be the next step? The timing of that course change and how it stayed hidden is just as unsettling. During its closest approach to the Sun, 3 Atlas vanished behind the solar disk as seen from Earth. For about 18 days, the object was completely hidden from ground-based telescopes, shielded by the blinding glare of the Sun. This period of invisibility coincided precisely with the window when its trajectory changed, an event traced by later orbital calculations. Any significant outgassing, energy release, or course adjustment would have gone undetected during this solar concealment. In natural comets, outgassing is driven by sunlight and happens whenever the surface heats up, not according to any celestial schedule. Yet here the timing of a major non-gravitational acceleration lines up with a period when no one on Earth could watch closely. Loeb assigns a probability of about 0.005% to this level of timing coincidence if the object is simply following natural processes. The scale of the object only deepens the puzzle. 3 i Atlas is not just the largest interstellar visitor ever seen, it is 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua and 1,000 times heavier than Borisov. According to current models, such giants should be extremely rare. The odds of seeing one this size within just a few years of the last two drop below one in a thousand. Astronomers expect small debris to outnumber large bodies by orders of magnitude, making the rapid appearance of such a massive object statistically jarring. Some suggest that improved survey technology could explain the uptick in discoveries, but that alone does not account for the unprecedented mass of 3i Atlas. 
Taken together, the hidden timing of its maneuver and the improbability of its size and frequency multiply the odds against a natural explanation. Even those cautious about extraordinary claims acknowledge that these numbers push the boundaries of chance. For skeptics, it is a reminder that nature can be surprising. But the math keeps stacking up, and each new anomaly makes the story harder to dismiss as mere coincidence. A comet's tail is supposed to tell a simple story, dust and gas heat up, then stream away from the sun, pushed by solar radiation and wind. But three, I, Atlas, refuses to follow the script. Observers tracking its approach found a persistent jet not trailing behind, but instead pointing directly toward the sun, a sunward jet that runs counter to both physics and experience. High-resolution images revealed something even stranger, a concentrated glow not in the wake but in front, shining in the object's direction of travel. Some astronomers tried to explain this as an optical trick, a byproduct of rapid movement or an odd viewing angle. Yet the jet's stability and forward-facing headlights have held up across multiple observing runs, defying the usual explanations for cometary behavior. Spectroscopy added another layer of mystery. The gas plume from 3I Atlas contains a nickel to iron ratio far outside the range of thousands of catalogued comets. In fact, the plume is so rich in nickel that its chemical fingerprint resembles engineered nickel alloys more than any natural comet chemistry seen before. Nickel dominates over iron by margins that in laboratory settings are familiar to metallurgists but foreign to planetary scientists. Loeb assigns a probability of less than 0.1% for a natural comet to display such an extreme composition. Mainstream researchers counter that interstellar comets could have more varied chemistry than local ones, but the numbers strain that defense. The orbit itself only deepens the puzzle. 3I Atlas moves in a retrograde path, cutting against the direction of every major planet. Yet its orbital plane is astonishingly flat, within about 5 degrees of the ecliptic, the same broad disk in which the solar system's planets travel. For an object entering from interstellar space, such a tight alignment is rare, with odds estimated at just 2 in a 1,000. Most random visitors would be expected to slice through at odd angles, not mirror the solar system's geometry in reverse. Each of these features, sunward jets, industrial-level nickel, and a retrograde but in plane orbit, pushes the boundaries of what a natural comet can plausibly do. The anomalies are not isolated, they span physics, chemistry, and orbital dynamics, making the case for a normal comet weaker with every new observation. In 1977, a narrowband radio burst from the direction of Chi Sagittarii startled astronomers at Ohio State. The WOW signal, as it became known, has never been explained or repeated, but it remains a touchstone in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Now, nearly five decades later, 3I Atlas arrives from a region just nine degrees away from that same patch of sky. Out of 360 possible degrees, the odds of such a directional overlap are slim, about 0.6% according to statistical estimates. For many, it is just a coincidence. For others, it is a detail that lingers. The optical properties of 3I Atlas add another layer of strangeness. As telescopes tracked the object, Astronomers measured the polarization of its light, the way its electromagnetic waves align after scattering from dust and gas. Instead of matching the pattern seen in thousands of comets, 3I Atlas showed extreme negative polarization. Even 2I Borisov, another interstellar visitor, did not come close to this optical signature. The probability of such polarization arising naturally is less than 1%. SETI researchers have called the combination of sky direction and polarization a rare intersection of cultural history and physical anomaly. While the WOW signal's true source remains a mystery, the arrival of 3I Atlas from nearly the same region, coupled with its unprecedented optical behavior, keeps astronomers cautious but attentive. These are not definitive signs of anything artificial, but in a field built on patterns, such rare alignments are impossible to ignore. Spectroscopic analysis of 3I Atlas's plume delivered a surprise. Water makes up only 4% of the outgassed material. In every well-studied comet before, water often dominates the story, commonly 60% or more. This deficit is not just a curiosity, 
it is a break from 150 years of comet science. Loeb summed it up bluntly. For this object, the water story is missing. Instead, the plume is loaded with carbon monoxide, nickel, and other species that point to a denser, less icy core. The photometric record adds another twist. As 3I Atlas neared perihelion, its brightness shot upward faster than any comet on record. The color shifted too, turning bluer than the sun itself. Comet brightening usually follows a steady curve tied to sunlight vaporizing surface ices. Here, the spike was abrupt, and the blue hue is hard to square with dusty natural outgassing. Some astronomers suggest this could be the optical signature of a sudden energy release, or a phase transition, more engine than evaporation. Jet mechanics deepen the puzzle. The calculated jet power is so high, it outpaces what the visible surface area could possibly supply through normal sublimation. Despite a 16-hour rotation, the jets remain locked in the same direction over 1 million kilometers of travel. Natural vents should wobble as the body spins, but these jets hold steady, more like controlled thrusters than random geysers. And despite all this activity, the nucleus shows no sign of breaking apart. Standard comets, when pushed this hard, tend to fragment or shed mass. 3. I Atlas keeps accelerating without a trace of catastrophic loss. Each of these details strains the natural comet model further, adding to the mounting statistical pressure on a purely natural explanation. Multiplying the probabilities assigned to each anomaly produces a number so small it is hard to grasp. The combined chance is near zero, far less than one in a trillion for a purely natural comet displaying all these traits at once. Even if the odds for individual features are debated, the combined chance collapses under this framework. Avi Loeb summarizes the situation bluntly. The clustering of so many rare events in a single object is not what random cosmic debris should deliver. He insists the next step is clear, direct, high-resolution spectroscopy of the jets and plume, with careful measurement of their composition and speed. Only with this data can astronomers test whether the observed outgassing matches any known natural process or if something entirely new is at work. Skeptics urge caution. Comet dynamicists point out that multiplying probabilities assumes each anomaly is fully independent, a claim that is hard to justify with such a small sample of interstellar objects. They warn that selection bias skews what astronomers see. The weirdest, brightest objects are more likely to be spotted and scrutinized. Some argue that as more interstellar visitors are catalogued, the range of behaviors will naturally expand, and what seems extraordinary now may become routine. The debate centers not on whether 3i Atlas is strange, but on how strange is strange enough to demand a new explanation. Until the decisive spectroscopic tests are done, the question remains open, but the math keeps pressing for answers. Right now, telescopes worldwide are tracking an object that defies every natural model astronomers trust. Each anomaly stacks pressure on our assumptions about what truly drifts between the stars. As 3i Atlas nears Jupiter, the need for direct spectroscopic evidence grows urgent. Science thrives on outliers, especially when the odds say we should not look away. What would it mean if this time, nature is not the only author?